Murphy and I am a holistic parenting coach and mentor. My work is all about supporting parents to step into right relationship with themselves and with their child and support the development of emotional intelligence in the family. And as we do this work, what we find out a lot of times is it results in parents moving through their own reparenting process. And as that work happens and we clear the clutter of, you know, our early childhood baggage, we, we end up really evolving as a family. This is not just the work of mom or dad, but it evolves the entire family into the next level of being our highest versions on the planet, being able to contribute and be of impact, supporting our kids to be in their highest versions. And a lot of my work is supporting families in the evolution of soul purpose, soul consciousness, in these nitty gritty relationships that we have between parents and kids. And I love working with parents who kind of get that. They're, they're oftentimes awakening parents, you know, they're realizing that there is so much more than just supporting my kid to, you know, get through the system and get a good job and be happy. <laughs> There's actually a lot more going on here on the planet and in our relationships. And yet we're still bumping into the nitty gritty of how to support my child when they're melting down at the grocery store or how to support my child running into challenges out with their peers and and having, you know, those peer connection, emotional, emotional moments. And so how to show up with parents and kids so that we are moving through emotional clutter and clearing pathways to really be in our own best versions. So I work with parents in a variety of different ways. Uh, we work sometimes in a group setting where we're in a group support circle. And those are usually times where we're really addressing the universal challenges of parenting day to day. How to support my child constructively in the moment that they're melting down at the grocery store. How to support my child in the moment that they're bumping up against a big challenge in their life. How to support myself to have the capacity to show up for my kids and all these things that are showing up in the world. So the, that really happens um, well within a group setting because we are we remember when we're in a group with other mamas and papas that that we're actually wired to do this work together. This parenting is meant to be done in community, and so that group container is really beautiful for supporting just fast action applications of tools that really align with this you know connection based parenting approach that I speak to. And then I also have containers where you can step in and work with me one on one and do the deep dive um, energy work, personal development work to clear your own childhood baggage. It's a lot of reparenting work. And I'm also an energy practitioner. And so we can really go to the energetic root of some of those original issues of family of origin issues, even ancestral issues that we tend to absorb at the moment of conception and, and really um, discharge those of their power and clear your field to be able to show up for this present moment right here and now. So that's my deep work, clearing the past, clearing trauma, building your own capacity as a parent. And then I also have um, a pro different program. So I have a course called Parenting for Inner Balance in Uncertain Times. And that really is like a course and it has different modules of information and insight and guidance on how to really pack in the emotional intelligence tools and skills and strategies into the family culture. And I'm about to start a new program in August, middle of August. It's called Raising Self-Empowered People. And I'm really excited about it. This is really gonna build in a lot of my uh, soul purpose work. Um, I've been doing Akashic readings for people and really working on the, the expansion of consciousness within families for the past couple of years. And I'm gonna weave um, a lot of that awareness into this course, as well as you know address the current situation that we're in, the current times. And this awareness that our kids are here to be of service and they're actually on a mission. And for most of the parents I work with too, they are also on a mission. So, you know, we're gonna weave in those bigger awareness aspects into this new program. So most of my work in the world is virtual, it's online. So my individual sessions, my group work, and my, my programs are all 
housed online. Either we meet, meet by, by Zoom or on a call or on a membership portal that I have, which is called Whole Family Empowerment. And it's like this membership site where a lot of the content lives. And I do, I have done in the past, um, local circles, local workshops. I hope to get back to that in the future, but at this time, everything is available online. So the approach that I coach and mentor and offer support to parents is really a, what I call a new paradigm as being very much focused on looking at our child's behavior as a sign of how they're doing in the world. Is my child okay? Let me check their behavior. Oh yeah, they're following the rules, they're listening, they're doing their homework, whatever it is, they must be okay. And if none of those things are happening, that has, you know, what I determine is them being okay. If, if they're not doing the behavior that I'm looking for as a sign that everything is going well, then I, then that old paradigm tells me that I need to bring forward some tools to bring them back into line, right? Get our kids back on track. Right? I need to fix something. Something's wrong and I need to go fix it. Now the new paradigm is completely different and it's based on a lot of the emotional intelligence science, um, the heart math science, and it, energy psychology, and really advancements in psychology in general. Now we understand that our children's behavior is truly a symptom of what is going on within their own inner landscape. So when my child is connected and they're in tune with themselves, then their behavior is connected and uh, aligned with, you know, all those best positive outcomes we want for them. You know, they're happy, they're having a good experience, they're getting along with everyone. When they're disconnected from themselves, they're untethered, maybe they're emotionally feeling some dis-ease, maybe they're spitting on some negative thoughts, that shows up in the behavior as what I call off-track behavior. So that's when they're melting down, that's when they might be getting aggressive, they might be, you know, clingy, all those negative behaviors that parents can easily judge as being my child manipulating me or my child trying to get their way, when now what we really know from this new paradigm perspective is that that is my child's doing their very best to bring themselves back into connection inside. So it's really a symptom of what's going on within them and as a parent when I know that, that's going to radically change how I show up for my parent. You know, the old Old paradigm tools are um, consequences, discipline, um, you know, putting on it timeouts. That's a really classic old paradigm tool, right? Let me let me bring a consequence so my kid knows that that behavior is wrong, so that they will learn what is right. The truth is that most, almost all of our kids know exactly what is right and wrong. It's just that they're disconnected from their knowing at the moment that those behaviors are showing up. And the best thing I can do from the new paradigm perspective is restore, support them to restore that inner connection to their own inner core knowing. And so those tools look really different. Those tools are connection based instead of control based, right? And so I'm not using coercion, I'm using connection. I'm focusing on my relationship with my child because I, as their primary parent, have um, my superhero tool to use is that I can come in close and I can get I can offer my, you know, love, my attention, my connection, and that is a, you know, a message to their whole, whole system, calling them back into reconnection with themselves. Sometimes it means clearing out a lot of clutter, and so they might have to go through that tantrum, or they might have to go through that big cry, you know, that cathartic restoration cycle. But me as a parent, I'm going to show up a whole lot different. I'm going to hold the space. I'm going to listen with compassion. I'm going to make sure everybody stays safe, as opposed to this other paradigm where I might send them to their room, right? Sending them to their room really pulls them into deeper disconnect, doesn't, doesn't really get to the root of the challenge. So that paradigm shift is so valuable when parents can really get that and bring forward the tools that align with that. Then radical shifts can happen in the family and family dynamics when that's in place. So this specific time that we're in as a community is really unique and that's one reason that I've actually bumped up my offerings in the world and I'm so happy to be collaborating with Project Caring because there's so much chaos happening in the external world and partly it's due to the shift in paradigm that is happening. 
But as we shift from this old paradigm of control-based structures, whether that's governing structures, economic structures, structures, educational structures, family structures, as we recognize how much they do not support us, don't support our children to be, you know, in the spaciousness of their truth, as we seek to become aware of that, uh, awaken to that, and shift, it's going to bring to the surface a lot of chaos. And so we're sort of, we're in this interim time of shift, big time. And we're all feeling it, right? We're all feeling it and we're all at home more with it. We're with our inner circle of family more. And, and we're all getting all, you know, that's happening on the macro level. It's also happening on the micro level. Anything that is still of that old paradigm within each of us, any childhood baggage, anything that feels uncomfortable inside our system, maybe that we've been unconscious of, is getting stirred up potentially. And who better to stir it up with us than our kids, right? Our partners. <laughs> they, you know, we are our biggest triggers a lot of times. Like they know how to push our buttons better than anyone. And what I love to invite parents to consider is that this is a gift. Our kids in those moments when we are getting triggered in response to challenges in our family life, that's an opportunity for us to recognize that there's actually something of my own to clear. It's just some clutter. It's energetic and emotional clutter. And this is bringing it to my, my uh, awareness. And now I can go do that work. It's been waiting for me. And now I can go do that work. So as hard as this time can be, it's giving families a lot of opportunity to do this deep personal work. And that's why I'm so grateful for you know, the support that's showing up with Project Caring, um, support I'm stepping into offer as well. There's so many of us who get this and are offering up support to do this work together. And to, you know, I just so acknowledge that and just invite parents to really own it. You know, we're all being called to deeper levels of self-empowerment and self-regulation, self-responsibility. So what better way to, to really raise our kids to be doing this? Because who, of course we want our kids to be self-regulating. Of course we want them to be self-empowered beings on the planet, to be self-responsible. And if we're going to really hold space for our kids to step into that, we need to get, we get to do it first. We get right alongside them. We get to do it also in any of the places where we haven't done it yet. Now is the time. So just offer compassion and awareness and also just a message that you are absolutely 100% capable of this work. Every being on the planet is 100% capable of being fully self-actualized, fully self-regulated, you know, regulated, learning how to do that, self-responsible. This is partly how we're evolving ourselves as a human community and it's really good work. So thank you for watching and I would be so honored to support you in your journey any way that it, it it feels aligned for you. You can find my business contact information on the listing on Project Caring. I'm also located at KarenMurphyCoaching.com and there's lots of ways to step in with me for lots of different options and uh, you're also welcome just to reach out to me personally through those links. And I just want to wish you so, so much love and compassion on this path that we're on together. Keep going. You absolutely can do this. And we're all in this together. <laughs>